Many of us experience some weakening of memory in our mid-30s. And by the time we're 65, nearly half of us complain of memory problems. So what's the best way to keep your mind young? We followed two people trying an unusual new prescription. I'll talk to you later. Hi, this is Linda. In her line of work, 53-year-old Linda Hi. Jenkins spends Linda. practically all Hi, day Linda. talking. You know what, I don't even know who I was talking to. What? I'm lost. And lately, okay. she's been hitting some blank spots. A, a, a big... Uh, causing her a lot of anxiety. I'll be talking along all of a sudden. But when that happens so often, it calls attention. It is frustrating. Oh, absolutely. To me, it is. I got to Then there's 64 year old Woody Philhauer, who, after more than 30 years in business, has a penchant for numbers. Put a dollar sign on, I remember them. If it doesn't have a dollar sign on, I forget them. <laughs> <laughs> but ask him to remember the name of a person he just met, even his employees' names, and you never know what he'll come up with. Like, hey, guy, how you doing? Instead of saying, hey, Joe, how you doing? So Jenkins and Phil Hauer are trying an unusual program to fix their memory foibles. The first boot camp for the brain, run by the Memory Fitness Institute in Fountain Valley, California. I hope I can remember to come. I hope so, too. You can go home today and start protecting your brain. The brains of the operation is Dr. Gary Small. The program, based on his book, The Memory Prescription. He has spent his life trying to unravel the memory mystery. While admitting there are other factors, he says simple lifestyle changes can improve your memory in just 14 days. What can we do today to keep our brains healthy and fit? And here it is, the big four, mental activity, physical conditioning, healthy diet, and stress reduction. The key to memory fitness. Last test. Before the boot camp, CNN asked an independent Florida-based firm called Psychologix to assess Woody and Linda's baseline memory of names, faces, and numbers. I don't remember. We left with a promise to come back in two weeks when boot camp was done. Dr. Small had said that it only takes that long to see a noticeable change. Test. Like Woody and Linda, millions of baby boomers are clamoring for a memory prescription. In a world where the drone of information is relentless, and sometimes overwhelming. Ah, oh, darn it. Whoops, what's this? Is. Business information guru Richard Worman calculated that every day the New York Times carries more information than a person in the 17th century took in in their entire lifetime. How can we possibly absorb it all? Uh -huh.